how would you handle facing death head on? Knowing that a wave of horrific pain is about to wash over you and those around you, that's what the boy in this story faced. There came a rider. Everyone stopped what they were doing so they could watch the dead man ride into town. Jack looked up from the beam he was hammering. Eyes on your work, boy. His mother scolded. She was watching the dead man too. Jack didn't like how tight her mother's voice sounded. The dead man was too far away to hear him. Yet his eyes found Jack for a moment causing the boy to shiver. Black-clad frontier scouts called dead men owing to the nature of their work were a rare but not unheard of occurrence in town. Jack had never seen one scared before. The scout went into the house with the mayor and some others. They all emerged not five minutes later looking pale as coffin pine. It's a herd then Jack thought going inside. Hungry dead things are coming. No one in the area had seen a herd larger than a dozen living dead in a generation. Some had hoped they were rotting out there somewhere in the old world, but now a swarm of thousands are ripping through the forest about to crash upon this town like a foul wave. The town bell began to ring and Jack responded, years of drills guiding him to the rifle over the fireplace and then out to a spot on the wall next to his friend Tom and the Reverend. Jack noticed that the scout had found a place close to him on the wall and the man in black was younger than he looked at first glance, maybe four or five years older than Jack at most. The scout's hands were trembling but his eyes were clear. It began like Jack knew it would, but only faster than he was expecting. The morning sky was grey at first, then charcoal until it was midnight dark at noon. A stiff easterly breeze came through the forest bringing with it the smell of old meat followed by cold rain. The smell became worse and worse until men were throwing up over the wall. That stopped when the dead things came out of the forest. Jack was hoping the town would hold off a hundred creatures, maybe two hundred if the walls and the men's nerves both held. But there weren't hundreds of corpses running out of the tree line. There were thousands. A sea of dead crashing like a wave against the walls. The priest next to Jack began to curse and maybe it sounded like the scout began to pray. But Jack was only focused on operating his gun. He was able to get off three shots from his rifle before the face of the first corpse rose above his part of the wall. Jack's last thought was how human their eyes looked in their black, hollow sockets. Almost said like they were sorry.